we will use this information later on in our apex class here we are not adding anything in the options but it is mandatory to pass the to ip hello everyone in this video we will see how to call an ip and data mapper from an apex class to call an IP from Apex, we need such information like type, subtype of IP, input and options. This is our IP. Let's first check its type and subtype. Type is a get, subtype is contact data. We will use this information later on in our Apex class. Let's execute this IP directly. It required data such as role ID as an input. After execution, let's check the response of IP and it is returning the contact data let's move to the apex class this is our apex class here we are providing the ip type and subtype the format must be type underscore subtype here we created three maps input output options which are mandatory while calling the ip we need to pass this all these trees in the input map it contain the data that the ip expects here it needed role and id so we are adding the role and id value in the input map in the options you can add like is debug chainable it's depending how you want the ip to behave here we are not adding anything in the options but it is mandatory to pass the to ip here we are calling our ip the syntax of calling the ip is that there is an inbuilt class integration procedure service and run integration service method is available in this class and this omni studio is the namespace of our salesforce package here it can be a velocity cmt velocity inc you can check the installed package in your salesforce in our case it's omni studio no this method expects three params its name ip name it's a type underscore subtype its input and options and the returning data we are typecasting in the map string object and we are saving in the ip output variable here we are debugging the ip output and let's open execute anonymous window to run this class here we entering our class name calling ip from apex and here we will give the our ip method name call ip and after execution it will open the log and we will see the ip result here it opened the log and we can see that ip is returning the data now let's move to the data mapper how to call data mapper from an apex class here we have this data mapper and this is the data extract action and it is returning a data if we will preview that we can see that it needed user id as input and it required user id after passing user id you can see that it is returning the contact information let's move to the apex class here we give the data mapper name you can see the name is a dr get contact for user and we are providing that one in the input it needed user id so we added that one here in the salesforce when we are executing ip from apex class we are directly passing the input map but here we need to serialize first and pass in the string format so to executing the data mapper this is there is a method omni is the namespace dr global is the class and process objects json is the method here data json is must be in the string format our input data is in our map so we did the json dot serialize to make in the string format this is our data mapper name dr get extract and here we are converting the output of our data mapper into the map and storing the result map and here we are debugging the result map let's open the execute anonymous window and see how it works it opened the log and we can see the returning result so here it is returning the contact information from the data mapper that's all in this video thank